Yo what's up guys it's Sinu here and welcome back to a brand new YouTube video so today we're going to take a look at top three effects that you can do on Photoshop touch on your mobile device and hopefully you are going to benefit from this video and I hope this video is going to help you on your future projects to create better effects for banner logo whatever you are looking for so without being sad let's like get started in this video Okay, so let's start with the first effect, which I like to call the bubble effect. So use any selection tool to select whatever shape you want on your project. And then you're going to go ahead to the bottom left corner of your screen and just go for the brush, which is this right over here. Now choose the color black if you want. And then you're going to make sure that the, this hardness is just all the way down to 0%. The flow is around 20% and make sure the opacity is scaled down to 15%. Then you're gonna go ahead and just gently just slide your finger across your selection and you're gonna create this really cool hollow effect Okay, so let's try to do the exact same thing But for this time, I'm just going to be just a little bit creative I'm going to change the colors from now and then I'm going to do the exact same thing Which is basically just gently sliding my finger across my selection So I'm just switching the colors every now and then I use red yellow blue i'm going to choose another color just make sure that you are not going crazy with the colors or your bubble will look like a six nine <laughs> Okay, so the last thing that I'm going to be doing is just using the black color again to just make sure that my bubble look 3D. And by the way, your selection can't just be a bubble. You can just put whatever you want. For example, straight lines. I have a great example of something that I created not too long ago and it looks pretty dope. This effect basically makes everything look 3D. You just have to know how to use it. And if you use it the right way, you're going to have some crazy results. So let's go ahead and move on to the next effect, which is the brush shapes. So if you go to your brush settings and you can actually put everything to maximum, which is 100% and go to those buttons right here. And as you can see, you're going to find a lot of brush shapes and you can choose whatever one you are comfortable with. I used all of them a lot and I had a lot of experiments with them so you just have to choose which one you're actually more comfortable with and you can actually go ahead and just mess around with these settings I recommend you getting this all the way up and and now wherever you put your fingers it's going to create those really cool shapes and it's such a crazy fast way to create accents for your background and you can put them wherever you want in the corners top bottom it really depends on you this next effect is something that i use a lot on my thumbnails it's something that i call the ghost text which is something that i'm pretty sure you guys noticed so as you can see this text looks pretty boring if i go ahead and just select the layer and i duplicate it and then i can actually change the blending option of this layer which is the text i can just put it to screen for now and then we're gonna see if it actually works for this background so now let's go ahead and just transform it and make it just a little bit bigger and as you can see now we have this really cool ghost effect of the text and the text just looks looks better. Now you are not limited to this, you can go ahead and duplicate the layer or change the blending option, see what works better for your background. Now as you can see for this background, I used the uh, overlay blending option on my text and as you can see it added those really cool details for the text. Now the text doesn't look boring anymore, it looks pretty dope and attractive for the viewers. So the will click on your thumbnails more frequently. This is how you can actually get more views by just making Making the best text as possible on your thumbnails so I hope this video helps you guys somehow in uh, just improving your skills on Photoshop and with time you know you're gonna actually improve and be better just by practicing and the effect that I showed you guys today is something that I use on the daily on my designs on thumbnails logos anything I actually use those effects a lot so I hope you guys learned something from this video and I hope you found out some effects that I used to do that you were wondering about and you ha if you have any questions about any effect that I do on Photoshop comment that down below I will probably make a video about 
about this and i hope you guys are enjoying this series you know the top three effects that i use and i think it actually helped a lot of you guys so if you guys like this series go ahead and just like this video also subscribe if you didn't join me already thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys next time peace out